When obstructive sleep apnea is diagnosed, depending on its severity, your consultant will decide on the most appropriate treatment for you. And that could include lifestyle changes, maybe adopting a different sleep position, avoiding alcohol. For others, it may be surgery, but the most common treatment for obstructive sleep apnea is CPAP. CPAP, or continuous positive airway pressure, involves wearing a mask at night, which is attached to a machine. This will deliver a steady stream of air down the airway, which will act as a mechanical splint to keep that airway open and prevent it from collapsing. This will stop snoring and keep your breathing regular. It'll help you have good, deep quality sleep so that in the morning you wake up feeling refreshed. CPAP is only a cure though, provided you wear the mask and use the machine every night and every time you're asleep, whether that's in the daytime or at night. If you sleep without it for any reason, you're more likely to go back to snoring, having apnea, that restless sleep, and then being sleepy in the daytime. It's important to remember that CPAP is a treatment, but it needs to be adopted as part of your lifestyle. The main components of a CPAP therapy are the device itself, the CPAP hose, the mask and headgear, and the power supply. The device is small enough to sit by the bedside, read the manual so that you know how each component fits together and how the device works. If you look at the back of the device it has a filter, a spongy filter and possibly a white fine pollen filter. There's also an SD card at the back of the device. This is really important because it collects all the information about the usage of the device and it gives your physician details about how effective therapy is and whether any adjustments need to be made to therapy. In addition to these main components, you may, in some circumstances, be issued with a heated humidifier. All of these components fit neatly into a CPAP bag, which allows you to travel and be portable. The prescription will be set by your physician, but you may have access to other features, generally comfort features. These will include the ramp. If you wake up at night and you find that the pressure has risen and is no longer comfortable, or if you wake up and you go to the bathroom, don't give up. If you press the ramp button, this will decrease the pressure to the low starting point again, and this will allow you to become comfortable and maybe drift off to sleep and get another few hours in. The other feature you may have access to is the flex feature. This provides relief on breathing out against that incoming force of air. The third feature you may have access to is the information screen, which will give you information about your usage of CPAP, how long you've used it for, and how well your mask is fitted. Sometimes your physician may ask you for this information.